Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on connected rates of change. Here is the exam question. A bowl with circular cross section and height 20 cm is shown in figure 2. The bowl is initially empty and water starts flowing into the bowl. When the depth of the water is 8 cm, the volume of the water in the bowl v cm cubed is modelled by the equation v equal 1 over 3 h squared multiplied by h plus 4, where h is more than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 20. Given that water flows into the bowl at a constant rate, the word rate indicates a differential of 160 cm cubed per second, so cm cubed per second indicates V over T, volume over time. Find part A, the time taken to fill the bowl. Please pause the video, have a go at part A once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So, the water flows into the bowl at a constant rate of 160 cm cubed per second. We can indicate this in the diagram. So we've got water flowing in at 160 cm cubed per second. This implies that dV of dt is equal to 160. Now we want to find the time taken to fill the bowl. To do this, we need to generate an equation for the volume V in terms of the time t by solving this differential equation. The first step is to multiply both sides by dt. So we can multiply both sides by dt. This gives me dv equal 160 dt. Now dv is the same as 1 dv. We can now integrate both sides because we've got v on one side and t on the other side. So the integral of 1 dv has to equal the integral of 160 dt. Okay, if we integrate 1 with respect to v, we just get v. So v equal... If we integrate 160 with respect to t, we get 160t. Plus c, the constant of integration for simplicity, we keep it on the right-hand side. So that is my volume formula in terms of t and the constant c of integration. Now we need to calculate c using a boundary condition written within the question. The bowl is initially empty. So initially means t equals 0, and if it's empty, the volume of water in the bowl is 0. So we're going to substitute t equals 0 and v equals 0 into this formula over here to work out c. If we do this, we get 0 is equal 160 times 0, which is 0, plus c. Hence, 0 is equal c. Now we can substitute this constant back into this formula. This gives us v equal 160 t. So we've got a formula for the volume v in terms of the time t. Now we want to work out the time taken to fill the bulk. The bowl is completely full of water when the depth h of the water in the bowl is precisely 20 cm. So now I'm going to substitute h equal 20 into the volume formula. So I've got v equal 1 over 3 multiplied by 20 squared multiplied by in bracket 20 plus 4. If I put this into my calculator I get precisely 3200. So when the bowl is completely full of water, the volume of water in the bowl is 3200 and to be specific, centimetre cubed. So now we can substitute this into this formula to work out the time taken to fill the bowl. Okay, so we've got 3200 equal 160t. So t is going to equal 3200 divided by 160. This gives me 20 seconds. And that there, ladies and gents, is the answer to part A. Let's move on to part B. Find the rate. So the word rate indicates a differential. Of change of the depth of the water in centimetre per second. So centimetre per second indicates depth h over time t. When h is equal 5. Please pause the video, have a go at part B. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. So if I dissect that sentence, essentially we're trying to calculate dh of a dt question mark when h is equal to 5. To find dh of a dt, I need to set up two differentials, then I'm going to connect them to give me dh of a dt. Let's start off with the volume formula. I'm going to expand that. So if I expand the volume formula, I get 1 over 3h cubed plus 4 over 3h squared. Right, so I can work out my first differential by differentiating V with respect to H. So dV over dH will equal the first term differentiates to H squared. Bring down the power, subtract 1 from the power. The second term differentiates to 8 over 3H. Bring down the power, subtract 1 from the power. So that there's my dV over dH. I also know that dV over dt 
my second differential is 160. Now I can connect the two differentials in order to find dh over dt. So dh over dt equal dh over blank multiplied by blank over dt. Okay, so we're going to fill in the blanks. We call this over here the chain rule for differentiation. So, so far, we've used the variable h and we've used the variable t. The third variable that we haven't used up is v. So, in this gap and this gap, we can put dv. The dv's cancel, giving us dh over dt as required. Okay, so this makes sense. The left is equal to the right-hand side. Now, dh over dt is going to equal dh over dv. So if we go back to dv over dh, we take the reciprocal of that. So that's 1 over that multiplied by dv over dt, which is 160. So we have 160 over h squared plus 8 over 3h. Now I can calculate dh over dt when h is equal to 5. So we can calculate dh over dt when h is equal 5. So substitute h equal 5 into this formula. So we've got 160 over 5 squared plus 8 over 3 multiplied by 5. So if I put this into my calculator, I get 96 over 23 centimetre per second. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part B of the question. And this exam question, as well as the teaching video, pure mathematics exam question on connected rates of change. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.